Hello, peoples of the YouTubes. My name is Keybear4, and I'm... What, what is with that voice? My name is Keybear4, and I'm here today with some more Game Dev Tycoon. Now, you may remember I already started playing this, but I only came out with two episodes, and you may remember I lost the video in between those two episodes. Well, I tried to record another one, and there was a problem with that video, too, so I had to completely scrap it, so I said, you know what? Fuck this series. I'm done stupid annoying recording software is being stupid so i'm done i'm not playing anymore however um i i wanted to come back to it and i was looking for an excuse to come back to it and i finally have one this game just came out on steam and since i bought it before it came out on steam i got a free steam key so now i have it on steam and um it, when they brought it to steam they updated the game they uh, had some new artwork, they lengthened the regular story mode of the game, so I figured this would be a good place to start anew. Um, so what else did I want to say? Oh yeah, I'm also recording it in a different way this time, so hopefully this should work out. So, let's get started, shall we? Game Dev Tycoon. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon! It should say welcome back, am I right? <laughs> in this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Yeah, I think they added 15 more years because I think last time it was 20 years. Well, let's become the leader of the market, shall we? Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Ooh. Well, our old company, Emubus Industries, went bankrupt. Um, however, we gained some funds and uh, used some trickery. Uh, I don't want to get into that because that could get me arrested. So, But now we are Emubus Industries Corporation. Uh, just, we add the corporation so that we're not the old company, you know, we can start anew. It's all good, I don't, whatever. And then, once again, I don't know what the guy, I think it was me last time, but we're having John Jorson, Jigtown. I changed my name so that I could start this company anew, and so that's what we're doing. Let's see, what's John Jorson, oh, we gotta go with the sweater vest, come on. And I think that hair is fine, but we'll just check, yep, it's fine. Uh... Right? I don't know why I have to look through again, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, settings. 35 years. We could do 42 years. Let's do 35 years. Yeah. We can... Oh, okay. We can continue after the main game is over. Awesome. Well, let's start this up. Hooray! All right. So now we got our first achievement. You can see there in the bottom right. And now we can start by developing a new game. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your- Oh, we know all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, we know this. Okay, game number one. Well, first, let's pick the topic. Hmm. Oh, let's do a Wild Wild West game. Hell yeah, I don't know if I did one last time. Um, Let's see, it'll be an adventure game. A Wild Wild West adventure game. That sounds good. And then G64. We're going to stick with PC once again, I think. Um, Because that's the best way to go. And we did go back in time, by the way. Uh, let's see lassoing I, I bet i bet that's not how you spell it and i bet lassoing isn't even a word let's let's put a hyphen in there because that makes everything a word also you can make longer names now which is good uh leopards we're still gonna stick with the animal theme because i like that a lot uh text-based because we're not rich come on we only have 70k we can't spend a billion dollars on stuff already we 15k fine or 10k whatever it was game development runs through three stages at the beginning of each stage you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on oh yeah we know this stuff i'm sorry i don't need to pay attention to the tutorials because i know that all right uh we want whoa yes lots of story and quests since this is a text-based not really gameplay we don't need to focus on gameplay at all engine i don't think we need that either maybe a little bit i'll just put it halfway that seems good enough Yep, getting some technology, a bit of design. Game development has now started. I know all of this because I played the game before, so I can skip that. Just talking about what all this stuff is, the design, technology, research bugs. So we know all of that already. We don't need to pay attention. Getting more research than either design or technology, but whatever. 
Dialogues, yes. We need a lot of dialogues. This is text-based once again. Level design, not really. AI, uh, no, not level design. AI, just a little bit. We need because we need to, you know, focus on what the other people will say when we say go to the cave, you know. Or I guess it's a la so lasso the cow. Then it, the AI needs to say you get the cow. That's what AI is always for and forever. Do we need sounds for text-based? I never played text. Maybe there will be like things and stuff. So I don't know. Fuck graphics. Fuck sound. World design. Yep, we gotta. We gotta gotta you know what am i trying to say we gotta really describe what the what the desert looks like what the cows look like what my hat looks like what my shoes look like what that dame looks like is that what wild cowboys west would call girls dames i don't it's probably older than that all right let's see if we can just polish up the game a bit get a bit more design all right perfect 11 design six technology i think that's pretty good the development of your game has now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. Yes, I know all of this. I just realized I don't have a clock next to me, which I kind of need. And I had to full screen this game. So we're leveling up everything. And I will be back in a second while you watch all the beautiful bars of leveling up go. All right, I am back as I sit down in my chair and look at all this glorious level up. We mostly leveled up, you know, with dialogue and stuff, so that's fine. Your game is now complete and will be published. Let's wait for the reviews. We gotta see what people thought of our game. First reviews, come on. It's gonna be a hit, isn't it? Come on. Five, you know what? This is our first game ever. Fun at stages, I'll take it. Adventure games work well on PC. Thank you very much, Informed Gamer. Falls a bit short. Well, fuck you, Game Hero. You still gave me a five, so I mean, I guess that's a, that's not too bad of it. We did all right for our very first game, didn't we? Five four five four. Is that like a secret code? Is there like a safe we can find? Like if we went into say Informed Gamers, like fuck it, we're not gonna steal from them. We're not gonna be dicks. Uh, yes, analyze. Oh, wait, I think this is new. After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights into what works and what doesn't work when get developing a game. That is new. This is something they added for the Steam release. To generate a game report, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. All right, let's do a game report. Let's see what this is about. Um... Wow, that is fucking expensive. Or is that what Last Wing Leopards cost? Yeah, okay, never mind. That's not what the game... Okay, we'll do this then. We'll see what it's about. Emubus Industries Corporation. A newcomer in the game industry has just released the first game, Last Wing Leopards. The game had a moderate response from reviewers. We are curious what Emubus Industries Corporation will deliver in the future. That's a beautiful name. Rolls right off the tongue. No problem. Last Wing Leopards? Hmm. 1.2k in the first week not bad at all i'll take it seriously 8.2k dollars dollaros i mean it's not too bad for a very first game i'll take it for sure now that your game is on sale you will receive the income from the game every week oh yeah we know that we know what income is come on john jorson continue the research good good thank you for all those points our post-release -anal analysis of Last Wing Leopards is complete, and we got the following results. Wild West and Adventure is a bad combination? Are you fucking kidding me? Best combination ever. Fuck you. Okay, sorry about that. Um, AI seems to be not important for- well, that's whatever. I thought it- it's a little bit important. Just that- just a teeny bit. Game reports are a great way to gain more research. It generates- Yep, okay, let's start researching stuff then, because that told us to, so why not? Research is important to unlock new options and make better games, yep, I know that. This was in the past. Okay. New topic, custom game engine. We don't have enough for custom game engine, so let's do a new topic. Horror, UFO, racing, or space. Let's try a horror game, I think we could do a horror game. 
And I think we uh, that actually will be our next game. We'll do a horror game. Last Wing Leopards is still selling and selling well. We've I'm, we haven't totally made back our money, but that's okay. We will in future. Finish up your research. Seriously, why are you so slow, you piece of shite? Horror. Okay, let's make our horror game then. Uh, horror game. Oh my God! No, let's make a dance game. Yes. Um. Uh. 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 Action. Oh wait, no simulation. Dance simulation. Yeah. Why wouldn't we do that? Pick platform. PC. What's that? Genre. Oh, genre match. Okay. Uh, I think that's new to this too. Um. Let's see. A dance game. Wait, 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 twerking tigers. There was no such thing as twerking back then. But we're gonna, we're gonna start it. Two do graphics v one. Let's start with the graphics. Let's do it. I believe in us. I believe in us. We can do it. In the win. In the win. Story and quest. Fuck that. It's a simulation game. Engine. A little bit. We have some graphics. So I mean, why not? Am I right? It's important. Right. Oh my god, look at all those bugs. What are you doing? You're so bad. John Jorson, Jigtown. Last Wing Leopards, uh, 32,000. We didn't make back our... Or I think... Wait, hold on. I think we just made back our money by like a tiny bit. So whatever. Dialogues, no. We don't... Level design, AI. I think level design... I don't think any of these are too important, but... AI, is that important? I... I'm not... <laughs> is that... The thing is, for a simulation game, yes, but for a dance game, not really. Let's put it like a half, and let's put level design at like half. How about that? I think that'll be good. Level design, okay. We'll do it that way. I'm not sure. That's the gist of this. Hold on, let's uh, check game history. Oh, okay, so we made bet. We oh, okay. Oh, it actually tells you your profit and stuff now. That's cool. Oh, and you can slide now. Remember how annoying it used to be? That's they improved this game so much. What can I say? It's perfect. Uh, world design, no graphics, yes. Sound, come on. Seriously, this is a dance game. We need all the sound. I'm gonna even focus on sound a little more than graphics. See if that does us well. All right, come on. I'm just punching my. Fists. Recent market studies suggest the Gavador's G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Well, lower price, greater availability, flexible hardware. Come on. PC, it's better. Come on. You, you know, in the future, we know we came back in time. We were ahead of time before. We know that PC will be better, so screw you. All right. We're just, uh, we have seven bugs, seriously, what the hell? Okay, just iron out those bugs, polish the game up a bit, and we'll be good. A little bit more design? Can you do it? Just, just one more? No? Alright, fine, screw you. Oh! Well, that was technology, not design. New records all across the board. You can change the name, why would we want to? Leveling up and everything, gameplay, dialogues, level design, everything, getting lots of points. Everything's pretty pretty equal, I'd say. John Jorson, Jigtown. Even he's leveling up. Okay, let's release the game. Create a game with a good topic genre combination. Awesome! And another Steam achievement. Um, hello? Oh, we have to wait for the review. Okay, let's see what the critics thought of it. I saw a bunch of 10s flash up there. Come on, only a six. It was better than that. This was the the dancing game of this generation. How can you give it a six? Or even a five, that's worse. And another six? You like it. At least he likes it. I mean, could have been better. Okay, well, yeah, I admit it could have been better, but still, screw you. Uh, twerking tigers. Yeah, let's see how that does. Oh my god! 2.5k in the first week. Holy shite. We're making the money. According to rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known widely for the successful arcade game Dinky King. I love Dinky King. Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. Yeah, home gaming consoles. Who wants that? 
Seriously, what the hell? Twerking Tigers was so successful that we now have seven fans. Holy shit. People like us as a company. Let's see. Dance and simulation is a great combination. Engine seems to be quite important for this type of game. God damn. Did I put that down? I probably did. Platform genre match. Simulation PC. Great. Well, I, I didn't expect that, but all right then. We almost, we almost sold equally twerking tigers in the second week. Oh my god. That is selling well. Well, you know what it's time for. Some research. Let's see. What new topic? Hmm. No, okay. Let's make a horror game, which we didn't make. Oh my god, a government game. We'll have to do that later. We will have to do that later. But for now, let's go on to develop another new game. It'll be a horror game. It will be an action horror game, correct? Adventure action. No, action. Um, pick platform, PC. Whoa. What the hell? Okay. And then, wait, hold on. I, f I hate when it does that. Action. We'll have to make a strategy game later, too. So, But this is a, a horror, an action horror game. It'll be... Escape the... Escape the... Emu Let's just do Escape the Emus. Even though it's it's not as much alliteration, but fuck it. I mean, it's still both E's. To do, yeah, we want graphics. A text-based horror game would be shit. Go into house. You see a ghost. Scream. Ghost goes towards you. Run away. You're frozen with fear. Like, that's what a horror text-based game would be, so fuck that. We need graphics. 2D graphics on the PC. Yo. Engine, uh, gameplay, yes. Engine, I think we need a little bit. Story and quests, a little bit for the, yeah, 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 I'd say so. Although it's an action game. It's gonna be like, story quest, not good. So I don't do that. I don't, I do not. It's a no mo. No mo. Okay. Dialogues, we don't need dialogues. Level design, yes. AI, we got a program where the ghosts go. So I mean... AI, AI, yeah, I'd say some AI. Is AI more important than level design? Not necess not in a horror game, no, because we have to be like, okay, they go around this corner and then that happens. So, we'll do more level design, but AI we still do need. Look at Twerking Tigers. Oh my god, it's so close to selling 10k copies. Come on, you can do it. 10k, Twerking Tigers. It's a hit. People love it. That is amazing. This is an important milestone in the history of Emubus Industries Corporation. Hell yes, it is. Okay, graphics, we need graphics. Sound, we need some sound for the monsters screaming. World design, not really. All right. Let's finish this up and see what the reviewers think. Iron out these last three bugs. Today, Ninvento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TES early next year. The console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. I guess that's what the news was talking about before, the Ninvento's home console. We'll see how that does. However, we just finished um, Escape the Emus, Working Tigers still selling. We're done with bugs. Can we polish it up a bit? Oh my god, we were made rich off of that game. That was amazing. No, not technology, do design. Okay, fine. 11 design, I'll take it. Thank you to John Jorson Jigtown from Patrick and Daniel Clug, Greenheart Games. Hi, John Jorson Jigtown. We're the creators of Game Dev Tycoon and would like to thank you very much for. Ah, oh, no problem. I think I got this message or a similar message last time, but Game Dev Tycoon is our first game and it means a lot that you are enjoying it. With your purchase, you support our little startup and this will hopefully make sure that we can bring you more games in the future. Well, thank you very much. I do like this game a lot. I rock. Oh my god. No, you guys rock. And then you people watching rock. Thank you very much, Greenheart Games. They are a new sponsor of me. No, just kidding. They're not. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to understand that. Oh, well, we finished Escape the Emus. New records all across the board. We're amazing. New topic. New combo. It didn't say great combo or anything. We leveled up in gameplay, which is awesome. I think. Our action with an action hard. Whatever. Fine. Or maybe that's what we have to do with, like, the, you know, searching stuff. Generate game report now. Escape the emus. Escape the emus. Escape the emus. Okay, yeah, let's see. Let's see why people liked it and why they didn't. Escape the emus came in. The new reviews. Oh my god, I saw some. 
Oh, this is our best game yet. Our first seven from Star Games. Oh my god. Our first eight from v Informed Gamer. Very enjoyable. Thank you very much. And also, I forgot to mention, thank you Star Games for the GG. Shows potential from Game Hero. Could have been better from all games. Fuck you two. Only sixes. Come on. Informed Gamer and Star Games knows where it's at. You guys are behind in this industry. What are you doing? I'm gaining some research report or stuff. It's Oh my god. Oh my god! Look, 5.1k in the first week and it's still going. Hi there, I've just finished Escape the Emus and I am impressed by your talent. I'm in the con- Oh yeah, we did contracts last time. Well, thank you very much, Jason. Jason! Uh, cool, we can do contacts, uh, same way we like, you know, just the action board thing. Come on, finish that up. Okay, let's see. Hard and action is a great combination. I was right, level design seems to be quite important for this. I did put level design up, right? I think so. Platform genre match action PC is very good. Awesome. Well, that was an amazing thing. Um, why don't we really quickly check if we do some, if we can do some contract work? Well, Escape the Emu sells. Oh my God! I was gonna say it's selling amazingly, but it's actually it actually took a big dip there. Uh, well, let's see. Find some contract work. Yes, I could use some stuff. Can't miss the deadline. Game backdrops. Will we? Let's see. 14, 215. Hmm. Four weeks. Three. I know we can't do this one for sure. Let's try this one, shall we? Come on, you can do it. Technology focus. You get that technology. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. No, we'll go we got this. Look at this. We're amazing at programming, so it's no problem. Today, the new game platform TS by Ninvento has been released. Hmm, maybe we'll try that out. Maybe we'll buy, um, whatchamacallit. Nice job, we will transfer 17k to your account. Well, okay. Jason here. Jason here. I just got word from the client that the contract was completed successfully. Excellent work. Usually I have new contracts every six months. I check. Okay, I will. Okay. Well, with that, I, I'm going to end it off here. I hope you guys are excited for the comeback of Game Dev Tycoon. I know I am. I love this game so much. It's so much fun. Um... Uh, I might delete the old episodes unless you guys really don't want me to, but I doubt you don't want me to. I, I just don't want there to be any confusion, so that's why I might do that. Um, but yeah, let, let me just finish reading this. Game off the market. Escape the Emus is now off the market. Oh my god. 15,000 sales, $106,000. We are rich. We are literally the best game developer ever. Escape the Emus. Everybody loves it. But yeah, once again, thank you very much for watching. I will be back with more of this and more Sly Cooper, uh, which actually literally right before this, I started recording this, finished, um, which I'm going to put, God damn it, I'm forgetting the publishing, God damn it, on YouTube. So I still, I just have to make it public now. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I will bring, I will have more videos f soon. And good, guten, guten bye. I I don't know